Hey everybody! So today I wanted to show you how you can make a Mac OS 10.15 Catalina installer. So you can take a used flash drive, whether it's USB 2.0 or a USB 3.0 flash drive, and you can make an installer. Now I'm actually going to make it with a computer that does not support Catalina just to show you how to do it. And this will work even if your computer does support Catalina. So let's go over to the computer and I'll show you all the steps you need to take in order to get it downloaded, get your flash drive formatted, and then make it a bootable flash drive for Mac OS 10.15 Catalina. So let's go over now. Okay, so the first step you want to take is you're going to take your flash drive and you're going to go ahead and put it into your computer. Now once the flash drive shows up on the desktop, we're going to go ahead and we're going to format it. But you want to make sure you don't have anything on that flash drive that you need. After you make sure that you don't have anything you need, you're going to click on the icon right up here and you're going to type in disk and you're going to click on disk utility. Now when the disk utility pulls up, you want to click on the flash drive right here, not this partition right here. And what we're going to do is after you click on that, you're going to click on Erase. Here you want to give it a title. And you can give it anything you want. I'm going to name mine IT101, and then I'm going to leave it as Mac OS Extended Journaled, and I'm going to leave it with a GUID partition map. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on Erase. Now that should only take just a few seconds for it to unmount it, format it, and then remount it to your computer. And then once that finishes, we're going to go and we're going to download a program that will let us download Catalina onto this computer. Okay, so that took a few seconds. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on Done. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to close out of Disk Utility. Now we're going to download that program that we need to from the internet. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use Chromium, but you can use any web browser that you want to to go onto the internet. But I'm going to go ahead and use Chromium. So I'm going to click right here. And then up at the top, I'm just going to go to duckduckgo.com and press enter. And then right here, I'm going to search for DOS Dude one and then a space, and then Catalina, and then a space, and then Patcher. And then you can either press enter, or you can click on the search icon. Now once this comes up, you'll want to click on the very first one, Mac OS Catalina Patcher from DOS Dude 1. And you go ahead and click on that. Now if for any reason this is really far in the future, and you're watching this years down the road, and DOS Dude 1 doesn't have that, I'm going to also include a link for this for archive.org so that you can get to this patcher so you can put it back on your computer even 10, 20 years down the road. Archive.org will still have this for you. So here what we're going to do is we're going to click on download the latest version. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and it's going to take just a moment and it's going to download that and then we're going to run this program. Now again, I know I mentioned it earlier, this will work whether your computer supports Catalina or it doesn't support Catalina. So let's let that finish and I'll show you exactly what to do next. Okay, so that just finished downloading. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and go down to the downloads. And if your downloads don't show up down at the bottom, just click on Finder. And then once Finder comes up, just click on Downloads on the left side. And then you'll notice here's my Mac OS Catalina Patcher. I'm going to double click on that. And that's going to open it up. Now here, all we have to do is we just double click on this. And it's going to go ahead and open up this great patcher that DOS Dude 1 made with a bunch of other people. And this helps if your computer will not actually support Catalina. They made it where it can support it. Okay, so here we're just going to go ahead and click on Open. 
and there it is right there so we're going to go ahead and click on continue and then it's telling you all the people that contributed to help make this Catalina Patcher so we're going to go ahead and click on continue now if you are running a computer and this your computer does not support Catalina it's one of the much older computers you can still put Catalina on there but you have to do one of two things you either have to install Mac OS 10.13 High Sierra which is what they recommend because it updates everything you need to with the firmware or the other thing you can do is have at least 10.10 Yosemite running and then you have to go and you have to download an installer package that's right here and then you have to plug your computer into power if it's not a desktop computer of course and then you'll go ahead and install the package and then it'll update the firmware well after you do those two things these buttons would say next but I'm gonna go ahead and ignore and continue because I don't want to install it on this computer I just want to make the bootable flash drive so I'm gonna go ahead and ignore and continue but if you wanted to put it on your computer you would need to want to do one of those two steps so go ahead and ignore it and then we're gonna download a copy so I'm gonna click download a copy and then we're just gonna click on start download now that's gonna take a few moments for it to download but it's actually fairly quick I mean it should be done within five minutes or so but again it depends on how fast your internet connection is if you have a slow internet connection that could take 30 minutes maybe even up to an hour or two but hopefully yours doesn't take that long so give it just a few minutes it'll be finished and then we'll pick right back up and I'll show you how to get that onto the flash drive and they did make this very easy for you so it's, you're gonna love it it makes it so much easier so let's let that finish and I'll show you the next steps Okay, so mine just finished downloading the Mac OS 10.15 Catalina. So now it wants to know what my installation method is. Well, I want to create the bootable installer. So if you click on that, it's just going to ask you which volume you want to use. Well, of course, I'm going to use the IT101, so I'm going to click on that one. And then we're going to click on Start. And it's going to erase everything and make that a bootable installer flash drive of Mac OS 10.15 Catalina. So just go ahead and click on yes and then put your password in and then go ahead and click OK and then it's going to go ahead and format everything and it's going to put all the files onto the flash drive for you. So give that just a few moments and you'll have a bootable flash drive of Mac OS 10.15 Catalina. So I'll be right back. Okay, so it just finished making the Mac OS 10.15 Catalina bootable flash drive by using DOSDude 1's Mac OS Catalina Patcher. Now, if you want to install this on a computer that already supported Catalina, all you have to do is take this and put it in the computer and you can boot to it and install the Catalina on that computer. If you wanted to put it on one that didn't normally support Catalina, all you have to do is have it on at least 10.10 Yosemite with the firmware update installed or have 10.13 High Sierra installed on that computer that already has the firmware installed on it and then you can go ahead and put Catalina on that computer so I hope that was helpful on how to create this bootable flash drive if you have any questions about how to use it or how to create it or you had any issues with it please let me know down below in the comments and I'll be more than happy to help you with it and if there's a video that you would like for me to create for you please let me know that down below in the comments as well and I'll be glad to create that for you and as always because you all do such a great job if you can hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up more great content like how do I make a Mac OS 10.15 Catalina bootable flash drive for a supported and unsupported Mac that I have 
and I'll be glad to keep putting up all this great content for you all. Thanks so much, everybody. I really appreciate you all. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!